presented by Tap Room. 74 Wyndham Street, the ultimate sporting hub. www.drinkfromthetap.co.nz F-F-N-S-F-N. You crazy for this one, Rick? The Tap Room presents Sprawl and Brawl, the ultimate comeback podcast. Podcast, podcast. With Dan, JB, and Eddie Redscope. <laughs> All right, Sport and Ball Sunday. You know what we do. What do we do? We preview some UFC action. JB, what is up, man? What's up? The Ultimate Rider is in the house. Check yep. him out. www.ultimaterider.co.nz. That's it. And what is your handle on Twitter? Uh, at the Ultimate M8 Writer. But just uh, uh, if you look for yeah, the you Ultimate f- Rider, you'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the word. You just made, like, made me so confusing. confusing. Fucking hell. All right. You need to not be on Twitter at all. <laughs> Red Scarf. What's up, man? What is up, man? How do we catch you on Facebook? Uh, Itty Red Scarf or just Itty Nasiri. Because Facebook has now made it that you have to put your real name in there. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah. So you can't have your... Your street name. <laughs> <laughs> and we're joined by Nate the White Guy. Yep. You can't find me anywhere. <laughs> Nate had to remove the white guy from his yeah. uh, Facebook name. How come? Yeah. How, do you, are you on Facebook? I am. You can find him, Nathan, oh, wow. Nathan Evans. Oh, wow. Nathan Evans. That's white enough. Facebook. I didn't need the white guy. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, he's, that name was so white, even Facebook were like, yo. <laughs> you Be change, real, dude. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta change that shit, man. You gotta change that shit. Hey, uh, guys, how's everyone been? How's your week? Great. Good, real good, good. Real good. Hey, quick shout out to my girlfriend for Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, what's, uh, she got me a fucking PlayStation 4. Oh, really? Man. I put myself in a Kimura lock. <laughs> I had just. Oh, yeah. did you on PSN? Did you tap out? Oh, nice. No, we weren't. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, let's play PSN. I'm like, piss off. <laughs> he only ever uses it to watch Blu ray pornography. Yeah, that's that's right. all he uses PlayStation <laughs> Porn 4. Pornhub app. Oh, what? wow. What? <laughs> I don't know if there is one. I don't have. Don't a fucking lie! Wow! <laughs> don't fucking lie! This is the ultimate writer coming out. Oh, the yeah. D. This yeah. is yeah. where yeah. the D comes out. Oh. Oh. This is, yeah, this is after hours uh, nickname. <laughs> Fuck yo! UFC Fight Night, Bloomfield. Not a bad card. JB, be break the card down for us if you would, please. So sir. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, you know, if we do the numbers, uh, Bendo versus Thatch, Benson Henderson versus Thatch. Main event. Yep, he's um, he has fought 27 days ago against Don and Cerrone. He obviously lost by a slightly controversial unanimous decision. Slightly controversial. Yeah, well, you know, I, I didn't make a big deal out of it. Against um, Cowboy? Yeah, that's yeah, right. He, I, he I, lost I, that. No, I picked Bendo over Cowboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah, a, lot, yeah, a lot of people yeah, are in people agreement don't. there. Um, you know, Bendo, and ha- Bendo sorry, has, well, uh, down. Yeah, he oh, has no. a great takedown defense. Uh, shout out to Valentine's Day peeps. Um, <laughs> oh, and, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> and uh, Brandon Thatch, man, that guy is a finishing machine. Um, six KOs in less than one minute out of his 13 first round stoppages and wow. one KO in 15 seconds so and, and Henderson's been knocked uh, well he's lost by a TKO yeah before that's now, right you know? he, he has been stopped before um, so there's nothing to say he won't be stopped again but this is at altitude so um, Bendo has huge huge cardio 6-2 6'2 is what I'm thinking of. Yeah. 170 yeah. pounds. The weigh in's 77 look, kgs. Bad. How does a 6'2 guy five weigh in at 77? And 5'9, 169 pounds. Weighed in underweight. Yeah. He the probably man. smashed some catering beforehand just to get his weight up. Bendo uh-huh. is in trouble. Smooth Benson Henderson. I have concerns because Benson Henderson is probably one of my top five favorite fighters in the UFC. Nice. And I think that today could be. An opportunity or a time where he's bitten off a little bit more than what he can chew. Yeah, Short notice, yeah. big guy moving up and, and weight, just like we talked before. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, um, Thatch could be easily a light heavyweight. Very easily. Yeah, he walks around at two hundred, so you know that that is right on on light heavyweight. And yeah, um, yeah. But, but you know, the question of um, how how the cut was for him. You know, is the dehydration going to play in? Because, you know, if Bendo really didn't have to cut, he should be so energetic today. Yeah, and you're looking at a guy now who's coming off the back, though, of 10 consecutive wins. Crazy. Okay, so, he, and, and if you have a look at them here, um, finish, 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 all finishes. Yeah, man, all in the first round as well. That's right, you know, so, I mean, I, I have some grave concerns of, for for Bendo but yeah well, and, and he's not good against really good strikers uh, and he is such a willing striker as yeah, well yeah yeah so I, I think for him to win this he'll have to t- try and take him to the ground and keep the match 
on the ground. That's right, yeah. And, you know, Bendo is a legit um, jiu-jitsu guy. You know, he's competed at Abu Dhabi. He's competed in some world-class uh, grappling events. And he holds his own on the ground, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, hopefully he takes him to the ground. Otherwise, um, Thatch is pretty much going to yeah. expose that chin again. Yeah, uh, that's right. And for those of you who don't really know what the story was, this was originally supposed to be Stephen Thompson versus Brandon Thatch. Yeah. Um, it was promoted to, I think, I believe it was promoted to main event. Um, and then Thompson pulled out um, January 30, citing a rib injury in training. So, yeah, that's yeah. right. Ben Benson Henson, who just came off the loss to Cowboy Cerrone, yep. picked up the picked up the five. Took a bit of Cowboy Mojo there and just decided to take an extremely Let's short notice one, fight. Yeah. Yep. And I think it was Cowboy and 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 Bindo are mates. Got a history for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of one-upsmanship there. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, Henderson beat beat uh, Cowboy Cerrone what two out of three Twice. times. Yeah, that's and right. Then, and, and of course that last third one was debatable. I mean, I really thought. Absolutely. I really thought. Bindo, I people, thought Bindo yeah. looked really, really good yeah. against yeah. Cowboy. Cowboy looked um, a little bit tired, a little bit lethargic. Yeah. Bindo he, looked good. By his own admission, he was a bit low energy, and he sort of acknowledged that he might have fought a little too often. So, um, yeah, yeah. you know, he's on a solid break now at the moment. That's good. But the rest of the card there, if we have a look at the next fight, Max Holloway versus Cole Miller. Yeah, yeah. Blessed, what's up? Max Holloway, the man out of yeah, Hawaii. Hawaii, yeah, um, yeah. Definitely huge against Cole Miller, who himself, you know, Magrinho, as we found out last week, means skinny in Portuguese. And Cole um, Miller's coming off a pretty quick turnaround. Yeah, man. Cole Miller, he's he's a gamer. Like, his ground game is huge. Um, huge, absolutely. He's a, uh, you know, ATT fighter. Um, legit black belt. Um, yeah. He's got... Good strikes, 4.3 significant strikes per minute, which is like tied for fifth in the division. Shame. And yeah, great fighter. You're talking about a guy who's come off it now with only a month off a month off his last fight there yep. after a very impressive rear naked choke victory over yeah. Sam Cecilia. Yeah, who's yeah. no joke. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So you know, it's it's going to be a great fight um, if Cole can get it to the ground. Like Max Holloway is an excellent uh, ground fighter as well, but his um yeah his significant strikes uh, are huge. Uh, yeah, yeah, and he, you know, with his um, four consecutive finishes in the last four fights. Yeah. Um, because his last loss was to Conor? Yeah, Conor, Conor McGregor. McGregor yeah. And, that, and that was a decision. Yep, that's so right. So all, yeah. all his losses, sorry, two of his three losses, but his last two losses before that four-fight win streak were all from um, a decision. So really, yeah. he said, I mean, if it's going to go three rounds, I think Cole Miller, the favour's probably in him. Yep. However... Yep. Coleman has got to watch out for some of those striking today yeah, because man. I think he's going to. I think he's going to be. I think we're going to see a knockout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just looking at Chaz Skelly, of course, in the undercard, who was victorious there with a. Yeah. I, think, I think a TK to the knee to the head of, of yeah, Jim Ellis. That's right against the cage. Good clinch work. Yeah, very, very good. If for those of you who want to come down and check it out, come down to Tap Room Seventy Four Wyndham Street. We are watching Fight Night Broomfield live down here. With get some, a feed. Get a feed. Ten dollar lunches. Get drunk. Five dollar Heineken. Yeah. Five dollar. Get Woods drunk. Pretend, pretend the UFC is real right now. And have a <laughs> fight on the street. <laughs> One ounce with Etty. Call him out. <laughs> Starting at five. Red scarf. I'm calling. <laughs> Yeah. I'm calling me up. You just got to guess which one of us he is. Uh, Neil, Neil Magny versus uh, Kunimoto. Yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts on that one, JB? Well, Neil Magny has huge momentum. Last year, he uh, took five in a row, uh, five fights in the in the year of 2014, won them all. Sure. And um, you know, he's great, great fighter himself. Kichi Kunimoto, um, definitely a prospect out of Japan, but don't know if he's ready to step up to the top tier yet. Kunimoto yeah, yeah. Is, is is fighting in today his fifth. Is it his fifth or his fourth? His fourth UFC belt. Yeah. Um, but both of these fighters, if you have a look at their at their um, uh, their, their their win streaks that they're on. Yeah, yeah. Not really against overly no. impressive yeah, opposition. Right. And uh, Kuni Moto, his last fight against uh, big uh, filthy rich Walsh out of Australia. Um, that, that was debatable. Yeah, that that decision was debatable as well. Split decision. Yeah, yeah that's right. So um, you know. Yeah, and it's been actually a real crazy week for MMA. Uh, another drug fail yeah. with uh, Hector Lombard. Hector Lombard. I don't know no, how many people yeah. were surprised. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he looks like an angry guy. Yeah, Hector Lombard Roman. looks like he could belong. He looks like he's on, on Breaking oh. Bad. He wow. looks like Chris yeah. Benoit. <laughs> yeah, he does like he that, that kind just of that persona. vascular, huge muscularity, and just man, he he looks like he, yeah, he's got the roid gut as well, uh, which is really sad because um, a lot of 2015 has been Check this a lot out. of main yep. focus has been on um, failed drug tests and also injuries as well, which is really sad because it's 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 really. Putting a damper on the sport. Yeah, there's that's some right. Amazing cards. You know, the UFC this, yeah. are trying to have a marquee year, and um, yeah, all, yeah. all it's been filled with at the moment is a bit of scandal. You know, people popping, and you know, just, yeah. just quickly, I want to make a prediction just for this one here. I'm going to call that be knockout of the night. 
Yeah, that that's good. Now. The Skelly knockout of Jim Allen's against the cage um, and with the knee. That was that was vicious. Yeah, that was all, all technique there. It was great. Yeah, now the drug thing is a little bit of a concern. I mean, because um, it's a massive. There's concern. always been PEDs around in, in, in yeah. UFC. PED, but, yeah. But, but you're talking about like top tier, top tier fighters now yeah, that, are yeah. getting, that are getting called and up. They're, they're starting to pop since the UFC have introduced the out of competition testing. Testing. So you know that is definitely you know a, a worry because it means previously were these guys just cycling off in time, and you know if you look at Anderson Silva's results, you could argue that that this is evidence of that. You know he fails one that's three weeks out, but then ten days out, he's clean. So you know yeah yeah, it, PEDs are a science and. Yeah, man. Like, Hick the Lombard, he popped for a designer steroid. So, you yeah. know, that, that is money. Like, there's no way you can take designer steroids um, <laughs> accidentally, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's kind oh, of what? I've got to sniff this? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's this needle in my arm? <laughs> yeah. I kind of expect it with Hick the Lombard, though. It's like Nick Diaz. It's like, um... He's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like... It's what? Like, what? He's a stoner. No. Never. Yeah. And, and you don't fucking How say... You? Hick the Lombard, he's Cuban, Australian? Is, well, is that right? Cuban, but lives in Australia now, Cuban, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, forget okay. the Australian part. Let's just go just with the Cuban. Cuban. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's right. That's two things now. Yeah. <laughs> well, because, you know, he lost his um, number one contender fight against Rory McDonald's for this, and obviously yeah, he's, yeah. he's going to go before the NSAC and get well, handed down a, a penalty. Hopefully, everyone gets punished the same. That is, that, that that's, is it, what like, I'm hoping to see. Yeah, I've been talking to people offline about this, and, you know, I, I would suggest a minimum two year ban for anyone who tests positive. Can yeah, I just yeah. ask you? Is it different when you talk to people online than when you're offline? Yes. Uh, are we well, offline now because we're not like talking on a computer? No, we are online now because oh. we're um, streaming. We're streaming. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, I see. You, Subtle differences, but consider, very important. So, is it online when you're like typing away on a keyboard? Well, either that or, you know, if I'm waiting in a line and I'm talking to people, <laughs> I, 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 can, I consider <laughs> that online. Or, or if I'm doing a line. <laughs> that, uh, you know, that's right. That could be online as well. What are, but if you were in a line, wouldn't you be talking to people in line? No, that's when, um, that's when you've, you're uh, rollerblading. <laughs> <laughs> that's great I like that one do you think it's concerning that the guys that are testing positive I think it's concerning you didn't laugh at that joke that was a great, that was a great joke give me my props bro ok sorry continue sorry continue the, the, the concerning thing for me as not a huge UFC fan but someone that watches it when it's on is yeah. that it's old guys that are failing these tests which means they're clinging on to success you, you usually expect young guys to take the drugs to try to get to the top but it's these guys that are still on the top or near the top that are doing these drugs. Man, kind of weird. Hendo's gonna be the next one coming out. He's gonna Hendo's come out with some new anti-aging <laughs> sort of fucking steroid yeah. or something like that. But yeah. he, the, uh, Hendo's never failed a drug test. Nah, is Hindo, that right? Nah, because Hendo's yeah. the man. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hendo, Hendo's never needed to. Hendo, Hendo. I well, think he had a TRT exemption. Yeah, but yeah, well, uh, that, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's but right. That's because right. of old age. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> It's, oh my that's because his bones got brittle. <laughs> yeah. 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 Apparently, it's hell coming off TRT. Really? Why? Well, because like you know, your body is, you know, effectively it's um, it has to recover from being sorry from having testosterone introduced to it. So yeah, I, I don't know the specifics, but okay. So I've seen yeah, I've seen what Vito Balfour looks after TRT. Awkward. He looks oh, yeah, like yeah, the lovely yeah. princess. Yeah, it's just like oh, dude, uh, fight with a singlet. <laughs> 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 like like a, a dangly like wife beater or like, or like a cute angle stringlet yeah, bro yeah no a stringlet yeah, yeah. A stringlet. <laughs> something to keep everything in place <laughs> <laughs> would it be like that for the guy fighting Sonny Bill last week oh, oh, yeah oh man yeah. <laughs> no he didn't have a bra <laughs> <laughs> this is a straight up bra back to the fight card oh my gosh Catchweight, Dan Kelly versus Patrick Walsh. Dan Kelly, the Aussie. Yeah. Who are you picking for this one? I don't know much about Patrick Walsh. Uh, Patrick Walsh missed, missed weight yesterday. Uh, Dan Kelly was visibly unhappy about it. Didn't even shake his hand. Just like blew him off and walked straight past him after they did the pose down. By, by how much did he uh, miss weight by? Um, by? I think it was like 11 pounds. So that's five kgs. Now fighting yeah. at one ninety one. That's a that's a yeah. Yeah, yeah. fighting at one ninety one when they're meant to be uh, welterweight or middleweight. Catchweight. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. I mean welterweight. Sorry. Yeah. So you know that's that's a big miss. And Dan Kelly weighed him perfectly. So you know I, I would pick Dan Kelly for this. Very experienced judoka. Um, you know submission dude. Hey, he's um, yeah yeah. I know. So uh, he's a big prospect out of Australia. Even though he's getting on, he um, obviously was in the tough. Nation's house against uh, Canada. Canada. Yeah. I mean, he's 37 years old, you know? It's getting there, eh? All right. Do you think that there'll be any chance of him getting some sort of title shot in the near future? 
Well, I mean, he's eight and zero. He's got a bunch of people to start beating. You know, this is uh, Patrick Walsh five, even please. ranked. That's the question. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think so. Next fight on the UFC card, of course, is Prozeros versus Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee, the American mixed martial artist, coming out of Detroit, Michigan. He's going to be taking on the Brazilian Prozeros. Um, you know much about these guys? Not much at all. So yeah. Prozeros is this com- one of those cards that really... Uh, you I think have this to is be called right. a bathroom match. <laughs> 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 or a dark match in the wrestling world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, funny enough, they're still on the main card. Yes, yeah, that's right. You get still got to have one. Mm. You still got to. You still. You this still is why it's free. That is why. That is why it's free to have. We don't pay for it, you know. And that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. All right then. So, people, if you're not doing much, come down, check it out. It is UFC Fight Night Broomfield. You know, looking at what's happening with, I mean, the world of UFC and everything and the drugs that it's going on, I think it's really, really nice that we can segue into something like Ronda Rousey and the swimsuit edition Definitely. of Sports Illustrated. And I just want to say. Ronda Rousey, you make me want to be a better UFC fan. <laughs> a more thorough UFC Ronda fan. Ronda Rousey, right? you make me want to sit down and examine your fights in greater detail. Google Images. You make me want to do slow-mo replays of every single submission and hope that you submit me one day Ooh. in a very similar way. Do like, you not agree with me? You, you, you like want, you, you wanted to break your arm? Fuck yes. <laughs> if, would you let Ronda Rousey break your arm if it meant you got to sleep with her and only her for the rest of your life? Uh, I know you're the wrong person yeah, to yeah. ask. Yeah, the yeah remember I'm Nick the, likes cock. So oh, he's like, like Ronda Rousey. He's like Ronda Rousey. He goes, man, he ain't a dude. I don't even know who Ronda Rousey is. I did do some research on said pictures before. What do you think of the pictures? Looking good. Would you would you hit it? It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> ten out of ten would bang. I think, yeah. I think they just He's like, hold on, on the wood bang meter? Yes, it is. <laughs> Green lights. Green light. No, I I, re- I I tell you what, I think she looked fucking I think she looks great. I know? think she looked great. Like it's probably the best I've seen her looking. I'm not a, I'm not a particular fan of hers, but yeah, she looks excellent. Why not? Um, for me it's more about her character that she presents. You know, I understand that for her to to achieve what she does you know she needs to have that mental edge and, and regard the game to the way she does ah, yeah, so yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't like that she's focused no no I like you know <laughs> she I, kind of plays off as a like a bitch almost yeah, yeah that, that, that's you know that, that's, it up that's cool you yeah. know? I mean, yeah. Yeah. That, that's fine e- but each America's to their own America has come around to that though. for sure for yeah, sure yeah, after, yeah, the, after the Misha Tate fight they've come around yeah. to like being like no she's America's sweetheart now well you know you can't deny her skills America's sweetheart girl next door is an Olympic wrestler who will break your arm and punch you in the face Held her own on, very stay, on sorry screen against um, some of the top ap- action um, actors in the world. Sure, so, sure, you know, sure, sure, sure. She looked great in the swimsuit, definitely. You're, you're a fan, aren't you? Well, I'm, I'm a fan of that particular shoot, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. In general? In general, I'm a fan of her fighting abilities. Okay, yeah. all right then. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah, do you, cool. what do you think of the photo shoot, Eddie? Uh, I've only seen the photos that she put up on uh, Instagram. So the, yeah, they were pretty hot. Um, I, I think she put up her favorite photos from the shoot. She put a bit of weight on too, because she wanted to have a little bit more of a feminine body, a more uh, natural, femi- yeah, a bit yeah. more of a natural feminine look. But um, like I agree with JB, um, the fact, like her her fighting skills are fucking crazy. You like, can't deny them. Yeah. You can't deny that she she is probably probably the best at her at her age at at her sex. <laughs> at six, yeah, oh, I, I think so. Oh, yeah, I'd let it be Brendan Sharp could probably talk about right. that a bit more in depth, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, like who who is it actually going to beat her? I think that's the hot part that guys right in is the fact that she can kick Kat, your ass. Kat yeah. Sangano is going to is going to challenge her for sure. Kat, no, Kat is not going to beat her. Someone needs to get a lucky hit in. Have you uh, have you guys seen Kat Zangano? Z- Z- I don't know, man. Misha Misha rocked Ronda a couple of times in their most recent yeah, fight. She did. So yeah, there's yeah. nothing to say that Kat, who arguably is a, a better striker, and easily beat it. Misha Tate. Yeah, man. She messed Misha Tate up. You know those knees in the clinch. Like she, yeah, she definitely did a number on Misha. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen some of Kat's fights where she's lost. Yeah. And I think that Ronda has the upper hand in, in, in terms of her being, just being more active lately, you know? Kat hasn't fought in such a long time. She's been yeah. doing movies. Rest in peace to her husband. Um, oh, her husband passed away. Yeah, her husband passed away um, oh. about a year and a half, maybe a bit more. Um, so that's the main reason she's been inactive as well. Are, as are, we, still R- are we still R.I.P.ing? 
<laughs> Are we still after a year and a half? He just is an RIP there. Well, just because it's topical. Like, he's just talking about why listening. she was... Yeah. Um, just in case she's listening, he's like, hey, I just hey. want you to know. Hey, I'm she might want to come you, on the show one day and Kat, now she knows that Kat. she has our support. I'm thinking of you. Yeah. Kat, I'm yeah, thinking it. of you. You're on my mind. And Dan is also thinking about... Rhonda. Rhonda. And look at Rhonda's hey, bikini enough, in the show. Funny enough, her last name's Rousey. What does that... You know, what does that ring in your Rondo. head? A Rousey. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, right, oh, right. Go, girl. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. So, yeah, great shoot there from Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey, yeah. yeah excellent. Uh, just currently on front night, Escudero versus... Uh, what was... Sorry, I missed the name of the, the other guy. It was uh, uh, Rodrigo de Lima. Yeah. yeah. Should be a good fight there. I've, Efrain I've seen Escudero is good. Yeah, Rodrigo... Um, he... Uh, Rodrigo de... Um, uh, Rod- I saw De Rodrigo Lama. De Lima. Yeah. Um, he's got a good. He's got. He's got a pretty strong um, kickboxing game too. To him, I think. Yeah. I saw. He reminds me of um, Hinan Barrow, the Baron Hinan Barrow. Hinan wow. Bachau. Look, he's imp- he's looking pretty intense here. Yes. This is going to be our breakdown fight for the week here as we get into it now. UFC Fight Night, Broomfield, Denver, Colorado. Henderson versus Thatch. You're listening to Sprawl and Brawl. Remember, we do this every single Sunday. That's right. And we do it live here. You can check us out on our link, which you can find on Facebook. Search for Sprawl and Brawl or on the Sports Fan Network New Zealand, which you'll also find our link here. You look like you're about to say something, Nate. Tell me what you're about to say. I was say. just going to say, also the three-point shootout in the NBA is about to start. All right. Nice. So I think it's a lot of people's most anticipated event. So D- They haven't had the also dunk contest yet. Dunk contest no, is last. Last. Yeah. Uh, Don't forget you like the skills challenge, Nate. That was exciting. Yeah. It was good. Who won the skills challenge? It was, oh, uh, God. Now I've forgotten the name. Um, Big fan. Big fan. You, your pick. Oh, yeah. Uh, Matthews. Yeah. No. Brewery's? No. So the last name starts with Brandon Knight in the final. So break down Escudero. What's Escudero's background for us, JB? Uh, he was in the Tough House. Um, you know, he is a striker. He's um, a good striker. You know, he's definitely going to outstrike De Lima. Um, you know, he's got good accuracy. Um, you know, 2.39 uh, strikes per minute, which is good. He's got good takedown defense. Um, and, yeah, I, I would see him going through Rodrigo De Lima in this, ideally. A lot of tentative stand-up going on at the moment between Escudero and Delima. Delima is slightly moving forward. Escudero, Delima doesn't look like he wants to get too close into um, Escudero's reach at the moment. Yeah, that's right. Efrain Escudero has a little bit of a suspect chin at times. I've seen him yeah. eat a couple and go down. And it looks like it's more of a feeling out period. They're just kind of trying to find each other's range. A couple, what you, you know, what you kind of do in the first, the opening bits of the fight. Yeah. But then, I mean, that, that, that's what makes um, other fighters more exciting. You know, some guys when they try and find their range they just start striking like they're going to kill them sure know? sure sure Anthony Johnson Anthony for instance Johnson, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. who throws everything with lethal everything intent but like bad intentions yeah that guy's trying to punch your head into the crowd but I, I think that's also a good way for them to be more noticed I mean essentially yeah. this card is a card full of people that we don't really know aren't really yeah. big names well, you've got and if, if these guys really want to make it they need to win their fights yeah and, in and an exciting fashion yeah that's you know? it like you know make, make a mark Make a mark, yeah. I mean, it's sort of the, you got two options these days. You can either be a loud, brash guy out of the cage and then win your fights, or you can just be humble and normal and then demolish people demolish in the cage. Everyone, yeah. yeah. I've literally just watched two minutes of standoff stand up, although the nice, a nice left, um, straight left there from Delima into. Delima looks a bit more explosive. Although oh, I've been rocked, oh, he's been rocked. Oh, oh, nice bit of uh, clinch he's work. Recovered, he's recovered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See how good his grappling is, how he turned him into the cage there? Yeah. Now going for the power double. Well, for the double. Looks like he's got his hands locked. Uh, yeah. Escudero going for the banana split. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. oh wow. nice. Wow. Power uh, driver. Uh, it's like he's power like, driver. Riff, like riff. Oh, oh wow. he almost did try to that power was driver. A, that was a pedigree. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, oh, oh wow. He just picks him up and just throws yeah. his Scudero down. Man, this, it's all on now. This is this is actually got really exciting all of a sudden from yeah. like two minutes of nothingness. It's because when Rodrigo De Lima got rocked, I think he just went into into um, defense. A, so yeah, De Lima's yeah. got man. The, he's going to take the back. He's got the back now, and because uh, Escudero went for the went for the leg, he's still trying to go for yeah. the leg here. He's trying to oh, but, dude, oh, he's the legs. Up. Yeah. Yeah. That's called a, if he puts his other leg is it the double hook? Yeah. No, if he puts, a, puts if he puts the other leg around and then turns him around. It's called gank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look it's at It's called this. missionary. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're standing now. Yeah. No, good oh, use of the cage there, though. He might might still be a little bit um, hurt if because you know his he sort of did nothing with that position he had. Talima looks wow, a very wow. A very very good strike by Scudero there. 
the lemur looks like he's got a lot more mass to him as well. Yeah, that's right. And um, his technique oh, is oh, not what very uppercut. crisp. Oh, yeah. He's oh, got got oh right yeah. Yep. Closing in on him now. So Escudero now. Good recovery again. It was, but look at this. Oh, look how oh, flexible wow. the lemur is, man. That, that grappling. Oh, if he goes for a knee, they're he in got, the 50 no. 50 position. Uh, Escudero, man, he just needs to get out of this and just keep it on the feet. The great thing with uh, the smaller fighters is how easily they can throw each other around. Like those two throws before were like, you don't see that usually in heavyweight. They kind of struggle to pick each other up as much, but... A couple of big knees from Deleman to Escudero's body there. But Escudero, Escudero, I think for mine here in this first round, he probably has had the bulk of it just with the number of strikes. But the throwing was oh, that was phenomenal. I mean, you do you do see some throwing um, in the heavier with well, the heavier guys, you know, Daniel Man, Cormier, Kane, yeah. Yeah, Kane, Kane Velasquez, um, especially DC when he was fighting in heavyweight, especially um, strike force. I was really surprised that Brock Lesnar didn't, wasn't more of a throw. It, Brock Lesnar resorted yeah. a little bit more stand up, which was, I, I thought yeah, was interesting. Yeah. That's right. Well, I mean, like look at uh, how big Brock is. He must have some gangster as power behind those uh, big gigantic arms of his and in saying that though but that also means he must have some massive power in order, in order to be able to get those takedowns especially yeah. with, his wrestling, with his wrestling background so he, he tried to take Kane down I remember of, uh, in their fight and he did take Kane down but Kane got back up and likewise Kane got him down but he got back up 20 seconds left in round 1 Delima just rocked Escudero with a hammer punch right to the side of uh, Escudero's head here but Escudero's recovered quite He's well. Controlling yeah. the posture here. That's the one. Looks like they're going to make it to a second round. Yeah. Which I'm happy about because this has actually been a really good fight so yeah, far. Yeah, great fight. So moving forward, I mean, what, what do guys like this need to do to progress to that next level of UFC, JB? Well, you know, obviously get, get a run going, you know. Um, the, the, it's widely considered that, you know, three fights in a row is a bit of a run. Once you do that, you can start making some demands like, you know, I want a contender, I want a match. Um, but, you know, until you have the pulling power and sort of the record to support your demands, you're, yeah. you're really not going to get anything. Yeah, you, like you, winning matches is cool, um, getting a good streak. But if you can win your matches via... Yeah, you know, you gotta move vicious. that needle, as as Dana White says. Yeah, yeah. I mean, becomes it's, it's almost like you have to become a brand yourself. Uh, it's yep. not just your fight, fighting skills now. Yep. Um, and, and even Izzy has um, picked this up. You know, yeah, shout man. out to Izzy, the style bender, the style Israel bender. Adesanya. You know, what's he, up? He's probably one of the most outspoken guys there are. Absolutely. And he's most likely going to be like a Mayweather yeah. of kickboxing. Anyone who knows his Twitter feed or his Facebook feed, you know, the, the guy is, um, he, he's definitely doing, doing the work. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think a lot of these fighters really need to pick up their social win, uh, social media game. Yeah. You know, that's the way of the world. You know, anytime you watch a UFC broadcast or, you know, other other big international combat sports broadcasts, they're, they're all about the Twitter. You know, jump on Twitter, hashtag this, you know, follow us on Facebook, etc. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's become just part of the game, you know. A really exciting matchup here. Round two coming into Escudero versus the Lima. Yeah. Round two is underway. Who did you think took that first round, Dan? I thought Escudero probably had the better of it. Yeah. I, think, I think there was there was I think there was was there a legitimate takedown as well as significant strikes. Yeah, that's right. He definitely rocked him a couple of times as well. So um, I, I'd put him ten nine up at this stage. Yeah, yeah. The Lima's striking is ugly as well. Like lunges into a lot of stuff, and like you know, you mentioned how muscular he was before. Looks like they both got off on each other then. Out of interest, James Harden has only sunk two three throws. Uh, three pointers and on the three point the challenge. Second last rack. He's onto the se- he's onto his fourth rack now, and he's one, two, three, four, five. Just as wow, much. choke. James Harden doesn't even deserve to be in the three point challenge. No, that's you, uh, you know it was a bit odd day to have him there. So what's happening here? Do we have a, a thumb to the eye or? A yeah, yeah, it looks like yeah, an accidental, looks like accidental it. poke. Uh there. Oh man. So James Harden, 15 points in his three throws. That's five buckets in the three-point three point challenge. DeLima copping a number of, of rights and lefts right now. Yeah. Um, um, Escudero looks very upset, looks angry. Yeah. You know, that, you know didn't definitely, um, you know, if, you, if you look at the Gus versus Johnson fight, the eye poke sort of escalated that immediately. Some good boxing here. Oh, nice. Escudero looks Excellent good. right straight from Escudero. Escudero's head movement is, um, is what is causing Delima some issues with connecting. And that's, a, yeah, and that's yeah. the difference with guys who've got their, their, more, their boxing pedigree, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. 
Kane Kane does a lot of good uh, head movement. Man, that that guy is um, yeah. also what's his name? The guy that's injured, uh, Dominic Cruz. Yeah, Cruz. amazing movement. And just his movement in general, in general is, yeah, yeah. is ridiculous. Kyrie yeah. Irving, Irving, the 2013 three point challenge. Man. Yeah, the man, Uncle Drew. He is up, Uncle Drew. He's right up now. His opportunities on the on the first rack. Do you think any of, these, uh, any of the NBA guys could actually make MMA? I, I certainly would say, like you know, you give LeBron three years uh, in MMA Rodman? camp. <laughs> Rod, Rodman had the, Rodman the mentality. Of, like Mayhem Miller. What about someone like you know? Ke- I mean, um, Kendrick Perkins. You know, he's <laughs> like, like Kendrick super Lamar. heavyweight. <laughs> <He's> like super <laughs> duper heavyweight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> The thing is, there's so many great athletes in the NBA that it, all it would be is learning the skills. Like, yeah, they've got the athletes, and most of them are probably a few of them would have the cardio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. But what That's about true. some of you know, even some of the point guards who are you know bigger than average people? You know, yeah. someone like Jameer Nelson. You know, he he looks like he could he could pack a wallop. Yeah, Nelson. but remember when Fedor took on. Um uh, Ch- 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 Man- Yo, wow, what's yeah, that? yeah. I want to say like yeah, Chow yeah. Wing Fat, but some, <laughs> something that sounds like that. Yeah, and yeah. Um, Fedor tapped him out real fast. You know? Yeah, that's right. Even though the guy was a giant, and Fedor was what, how tall is Fedor? Six one? Six? Yeah, he's about six one, six oh, six one. Um, and Fedor destroyed him. Hung you know? Man Choi. Curry Hung Man Irving. Choi. That's it. Curry Irving just Chow overtaken Man. James Chow Harden there. I think twenty two points in his three point challenge. Oh, not bad. Not, not bad for a minute there. Very good. He had a really good final for two racks. Oh, wow. Oh, that's what's up. So, so currently, talk us through what's happening here. Round two action, Escudero versus Dilema. Escudero's on top. He's um, keeping his posture up so that he can still throw some good strikes from the top. Uh, Dilema looks like he might be trying to work his knee up, but um, at the moment, he's just got him in, in the full guard. Yeah. The he's, fight's going to slow down a bit. It's called the can opener, what he's doing now, when you wrench someone's neck to try and open their full guard. It's a classic jiu-jitsu maneuver. I think it actually came from wrestling. If you try that in a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, got, he's rocked him, I think, because, you know, Dalima's just oh, flailing a bit. Yeah, number of rights. Dalima trying to sort of get some sort of defense going, but he it almost looked there for a little bit. He had offered yeah. no defense. He looks a bit gassed as well, because, yeah. you know, we oh, going for oh, this. No, no. Nah. I don't think he's expressive oh. enough at the moment after eating a few shots. Escudero is just piling them in here with the from the, these yeah. rights and these hammer fists. What's it like um, eating shots in a fight, Eti? Like, how much do you notice it live when you're when you're actually in there? It do, you know, to be honest, it doesn't really hurt. Yeah. Um, what about that time I, I gave you a hiding? That never happened. Oh yeah, um, that wasn't on record. No, that never happened. <laughs> um, no contest. <laughs> yeah, that is no contest. Um, oh, so oh, one out. Only because when I caught him out, he pulled his pants down. Oh uh, wow. Yeah, you can hold my jock, and that's about it. <laughs> but I mean, in terms of fighting, like to be honest, you don't really feel the injuries. It's not until you like jump in the showers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, that, like you know, after a game of league or American oh, football, yeah. that's when you feel the pain. I remember from like I played league for a long time when I was growing up, and um, you know, it was when you get home from yeah, the game yeah. and you go to get out of the car and you're like oh but, but I, I will whoa. say when you get punched in the face really hard yeah uh, yeah, you, you know when you get yeah. punched in the face it's like yeah. oh shit <laughs> yeah, I've, like you know I've had street fights and stuff and I've had my jaw like tapped and definitely like once you once you eat a solid shot you'll never forget it so yeah. break down quickly for us if you unless can. you get knocked out so JD <laughs> <laughs> do us a favour quickly break down for us the, the, the situation with the UFC sponsorship in Judo Europe yeah sure so um, in about 8 weeks the European Judo um, qualifiers for the Olympics is happening uh, the UFC are a sponsor of that but they have actually Pulled been uh, no they've been muscled out by the oh, European wow. Judo Union they've actually threatened to cancel the um, the Judo tournament the, the European Judo Championship unless the UFC pull out and why is um, that? Well, they haven't actually gone on record and, and cited anything, but you know, a lot of people are saying you've got to consider that it's about the the ped use as well as John Jones, etc. Oh, so, okay, um, then yeah, yeah, but that, that's a you know the UFC being respectful. Obviously, they don't want to stop anyone from getting to the Olympics or competing at high levels in martial arts. So they they have done the right thing and pulled out. But uh, that's something to watch. So some more talk coming out, obviously, on the internet over the last twenty four hours. Israel Adesanya, yeah, yeah. the last yeah, style yeah. bender, victorious, yeah. and Nisa Fury over in Australia. Yeah, that's right. Did very well. So, what, what's the word coming out of what happened there? 
Well, he beat a legend. Um, you know, uh, it was uh, Nisa Fury 50. He was the main card. Oh, sorry, main, main event. Main event. And uh, he won in the third by a referee stoppage. Um, wow. And yeah, Israel. You know, he's definitely, definitely one of the one of the big things. And um, you know, after this, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a call from Glory. And yeah, hopefully, yeah. we'll be catching up with him in the next week or two on the podcast. So yeah, yeah. we'll be able to get the full story from Is himself. Funny enough, um, you said Glory. Bill Goldberg, you remember Goldberg yeah, wrestling? Yeah. <laughs> Who's yeah. next? Who's yeah. next? Yeah. Pretty much the only words he knew. Um, <laughs> he's been, he's been, uh, there's been talks about him going to glory and actually fighting, and maybe possibly fighting Albert Del Rio. What? This is this is no bullshit. Oh. It sounds like a wrestling storyline, yeah, yeah. but it actually makes sense. But here's, here's a legit uh, martial artist, right, Bill Goldberg? Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently he's been training with some um, top level. Uh, Muay Thai fighters nice um, and that's why Glory um, actually tweeted him and they actually tweeted him about would you fight if we gave you a contract Delima wow. just quickly is proving himself to have a monster chin because yeah. he is just eating eating that was a level oh. change yeah, yeah. Looked like he got rocked, but he was actually going for a level. Change. He probably just took about. I, I'd say he took about fifteen straight rights to his jaw just yeah. then. Yeah, offering very little defense. Unanswered yeah. as well. Yeah, that, goal, that Goldberg thing is actually quite interesting because Alberto Del Rio also has a background, a legitimate MMA, in MMA, MMA and kickboxing as well. Oh wow, yeah. So it'd be pretty good to watch them. Um, I think it would be like a CM Punk sort of mm. angle, you know, uh, especially if they go with Bellator, uh, which is UFC's uh, probably biggest rival. Goldberg yeah. is also like pushing fifty, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're not going to expect Goldberg to really be um, challenging the champ for no, no. a title fight, you know. But it's more just of cool. a could be a cool one-off thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely Actually, a bit of a spectacle. I'd yeah. love to see Bill Goldberg give Mickey Rourke a hiding. Do you remember when Mickey Rourke came back? The actor? Yeah. That, well, was, he, that was such he a fought about a month match. ago and uh, an obviously worked fight um, yep. against that some some homeless dude with mental problems, I think. <laughs> what? No, serious? honestly, this is, wow. this is actually yeah, yeah. the story. Wow. So, uh, good on Mickey uh, Yeah, he took, took the fight in Russia for X amount of dollars. Party. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one, uh, one thing which, we, which was brought up also during the week... Um, um, was whether or not Jim Ross will actually return the commentary for a MMA promotion. MMA. Oh, oh, yeah. He commentated last year in, um, in Battlegrounds MMA one yes, night tournament yep. um, yeah, back with in October uh, Charles Sonnen. with Charles yep, Sonnen. And apparently, right. the, the the combination of those two as broadcasters was, it was it I was, can it was imagine really that good. to be really sure. really funny. And you couldn't you like you know as a promoter you wouldn't be able to argue with their pulling power. So yeah, absolutely. Just you know? quickly, Steph Curry has equaled Kyrie Irving's twenty three in oh. the three point shootout. Um, Rappaport looking unimpressed. Michael Rappaport, <laughs> who we covered, who we covered on last week, who Michael yeah. Rappaport was. <laughs> yeah, he um he he was quite funny for the um, celebrity game. Yeah, yeah, he's he's classic. Hey? I love him. I want to go and see him live in New York. Michael Rappaport. Yeah, he's a live show. I assume he would. He, he does, like, yeah, he, he does stand he's up. a stand-up yeah. comedian. Like you know, be like, fuck you. This is New York. All there right. was um, there was some word that uh, there was a bit of a fight. Rick Ross, Mick Mill getting in a bit of a fight in the weekend as well. That's yeah, some. I like to see some rappers uh, getting in uh, uh, like yeah, celebrity death match or something. Cool, yeah. Fifty Cent is yeah. actually uh, Golden Gloves. Man, he's good with his hands. Really? Oh. Yeah. Do you really want to see Rick Ross though? <laughs> oh, I, 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 like I'd like to see Fifty. Yeah. <laughs> maybe find the singlet, bro. Rick Ross has lost a lot of that yeah, weight but as now well. Now he's got all that skin. True. Uh, yeah, true. Well, yeah. maybe he's like fighting because he wants to get that operation yeah. done. Clay Thompson yeah, up yeah, in his first that. rack in the All Star three point challenge. He's Splash the other one, number two. Yeah, special brother number two, and he's off to actually a bit of a flyer, to be honest. Let him go. Damn, look at that form. That's incredible. I, and I don't want Clay Thompson to win. I know. Really how know. A minute twenty left in round three in the fight between Escudero and De Lima. Escudero has just destroyed De Lima in this one. I think. Yeah, he's 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 taking this. He's got it. Got full control here. Actually, funny enough though, just a little side note. One of the one of the funnier things of uh, combat sports, and, and I'd like to call, oh, I'd like to say, wrestling is a type of combat entertainment. I guess. Um, <coughs> Seth Rollins with his nude pics <laughs> and his fiance putting him on blast. So, so what happened was that. Uh, some nude pics were released from his Instagram yeah. of a girl uh, from NXT. Oh. And then the wife puts 
nude photos up of Seth Rollins. Oh, wow. As like a bit yeah. of a payback. As yeah. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Damn. And that is a woman scorned, guys. Clay Thompson has just outscored both Curry Irving and Steph Curry with 24. And is this one of the Splash brothers? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's are right. They, are they actually actual last name Splash? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's no, what they brothers. like to do. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just kind of like, yeah. Uh, just a nickname for like two awesome shooters on the same team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so they're not actually brothers. No. So Kay, um, JB Page Van Sant. Yeah. Signing with Reebok? Yeah, she uh, became the first ever uh, strawweight fighter to sign with Reebok, um, which has caused a bit of a kerfuffle with Carla Esparza, the uh, current yeah, yeah. winner of Tough 20 and the, the newly crowned champion, sort of being like, uh, what about me, dude? I'm the champion of the division. Kyle yeah, Corver, yeah. Atlanta Hawks, is up now, just uh, just as a side note. Probably my pick to win the um, the three-point tournament. Interesting, because I picked Curry, and Curry's gone, so yeah, I, I, I hope you win up. No, play. there's two rounds, there's two rounds. There's two rounds? Yeah, Who so it's like the top mate? four or whoever go through to the next round and then they go again. All right, all right. Uh, probably Corva would be my pick. Corva, yeah, man. You know, like I, I think we were talking about it before, and, you know, when it comes down to technique versus guys who need to get hot, yeah. sure, you, you would hope that the technique is going to take it out. One thing we really do need to touch on is, obviously, the big news coming out of the United States, and it looks like there's going to be an announcement this weekend. Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it could be a done deal. TBE. Break yeah. it down, it's in Nazare. Oh, uh, it's definitely going to be um, Mayweather is going to win this fight. And I've said this over and over again. Um, where Mayweather has lost in like his athleticism. Yeah. Athleticism. Yeah, yeah, I said it right. <laughs> Shut up. Um, he's going to make up for with, um, like, he's probably the smartest boxer uh, there is probably um, I'm almost one of these things to say in the history of boxing yeah. but that, that's, a, that's a big call he's smart that's enough a, to dodge Manny for five years yeah 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 I and mean the, you know that's when a bit of the business comes for in sh- for comes sure into, you know right we, when your brand is tied to the fact that you're undefeated undefeated yeah and you know you, you gotta protect your money yeah but um, but according um, Manny has uh, 100% signed his side of the 250 million dollar 250 million God damn agreement and it's a 60-40 split I believe so yeah. 60 to Mayweather 40 to Manny which, which seems fair yeah, so do you think that uh, Mayweather they should announce it at the All Star Weekend? Because uh, Mayweather, May- Mayweather he's, he's there, there right isn't he? Now, yeah, yeah. So, he's there right now. You know, so I think there's been a few rumors that he, they Hammond, might yeah. might jump up at tip off. Oh, I, I yeah. mean, I saw. Well, yeah, I mean, that'd be cool if a scrap just suddenly broke out. <laughs> Danny just comes out down Danny, from the rafters, yeah, yeah. Sting style, and a ring drops down. <laughs> now he comes out doing karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I honestly believe that Mayweather is going to beat Pac-Man. If it was points? a couple of yeah points, points. it's not going to be a knockout. No, no. I will but not if look it for goes, it. if it was say seven years ago, yeah. Uh, it be a lot be closer. A, it'll yeah. be a lot closer. Do you think they were both in their primes at the same time, so we could have had this fight in their prime? We have. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. But then, you know, Mayweather is. It's very hard to say that he's in prime, he's not in prime, because essentially he has won all his fights. Yeah, yeah so sure. It's, it's so hard to he's say. He's got a 47 fight prime career. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a long yeah. prime time. And all that money, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but, um, I refuse to get excited about the fight until the bell rings. Yeah. Because. You it never could, know what could he's pull out it could just time. like it yeah. could yeah. fall under well, the deal will be signed the pay-per-view will be paid for yeah. and then Pacquiao or someone will pull out or well just apparently like, Pac-Man's already back in the Philippines ca- in camp for this one so oh, he, wow. he's already so kicked it off and, May, and Mayweather's in New York right now for All Star Weekend, Weekend. Yeah. he's seen buying hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewellery yeah. and it looks like <laughs> and it looks like that he's he, like a rapper and how's this for swag <laughs> he is like a rapper how's this for swag it looks like he's going to announce the super fight officially at the tip off of the All Star game tomorrow Huge, that's eh? what JB said <laughs> huge wow <laughs> while, we're, while we're talking about um, to be fair I, I, I zone in and out sometimes <laughs> yeah. this week um, uh, what's his name Swaggy P Nick Young his girlfriend uh, Iggy, uh, Azalea. Iggy Azalea she yeah. came out and said that uh, Swaggy P has a fear of dolphins because he was assaulted sexually by yes. a dolphin Have you yeah. s- and did you wow. see the picture did you see the picture <laughs> of him did you see the picture of him and the dolphin yes he came you know, so, like the dolphin tried to kill him yeah that's right you you know, there's a picture of Iggy Azalea and him sitting on the edge of a boat and a dolphin's head up like and just, just like, like smiling ah, <laughs> and ah. fucking Nick Young looks like he's going to shit himself yeah, he's going to pass oh, out wow. eh? <laughs> you know what, what was actually really crazy is uh, yesterday I was having a conversation with uh, our good friend Russell yeah. and um, out of all the animals he decided to call himself he called himself 
a dolphin. Wow. And now I understand why. He wants like, to sexually assault male. Yeah, male basketball, <laughs> male like average basketball, NBA yeah. players. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, it is Sprawl and Brawl. It is UFC Fight Night Bloomfield. Henderson versus Thatch. Very quickly, round the table. Call the winner. Pick it now. It's Inazari, the Red Scarf. Thatch is definitely going to win this. If this, if this fight goes... Short, if it's going to finish in the first two rounds. Yeah. Thatch is oversized. He's going to o- o- overpower him. Henderson needs to take him down, and it's going to be very hard to take this big man down. Nate the he white looks guy. Like a dwarf. Nate yeah. the white guy. Who are you picking? I got Thatch if it's in the first round. If it goes longer, you got to go with Hendo. Because he's had to cut weight, and that always works against you the longer the fight goes. Yeah, that's right. JB, the ultimate writer. Um, yeah, I am here. going to... I'm, I'm actually going to flip the script and go with Bendo. You know, I think the fact that he d- hasn't had to cut, he himself, he commented saying that he feels better than going well. into any fight um, ever. So, you know, his vitality, his energy is going to be huge. Um, and, you know, I, I rate the guy on the ground. If he can get it there with his good wrestling, then it's on. And unfortunately, I'm incredibly undecided because the heart says that, Bre- that, that Thatch is going to take this. Um, sorry, my head. Sorry, says that yeah. Thatch is going to take this. My heart says though, if Hendo can stay in it though, <laughs> yeah. he, he can. He, you know, that's it. And the longer the fight goes, the the better Bendo's that's chances. Right. Yeah, and definitely. you're exactly right. He hasn't had to cut. I think he's going to be feeling good. He's going to be in lots yeah. of energy. I think it's going to. I think it's going to be closer than what people think. And For I don't sure. think. And 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 Bindo's not dumb. He ain't going to take a fight like this on such short notice. If and if count. he doesn't believe that he can win, like he know, right. you know, he knows he's probably got a run left in him for a title. So he he wouldn't be just taking fights for the cash. But That's then what exactly does right. a loss do to Henderson? Like out of division? He, yeah, yeah. Oh, probably I mean, very I, little. I mean, no, not much at all. Yeah. Would it be like a, there will be an asterisk really? It's so more probably more like wins. a catch weight fight. So in even if the UFC wins eyes. though, like definitely boosts that. Will it? Yeah, I would say because it's, it's it's a win over someone that's really from another weight division. So, yeah. do do you feel that it's an asterisk on whoever wins? And I think loses? I think it's going to be an asterisk no matter what. But I think for Thatch, he's got more to gain off this, considering that for sure Henderson's a Henderson, big name. He's a yeah. former champ. Yeah, yeah. 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 five five time. Uh, he's defended WC and UFC titles five times. Bendo, so yeah, well, yeah. You know, top tier. It is Sport and Brawl every Sunday afternoon. You can join us live right here. You can search us on Facebook, guys. Point the white guy. Thank you very, very much. Etty Red Scarf. Catch him. Search Etty Red Scarf Nassery on Facebook. <laughs> what's your What's your Twitter handle? Um, I think it's Red Scarf 69. I'm one of those oh. guys that has heaps of different things that I just can't keep. Uh, yeah. All right. Can't remember which yeah, goes where. JB, like yeah, yeah. www.ultimaterider.co.nz and catch him right. at, the, at Ultimate. Yeah. ultim 8 Writer on Twitter. Yeah, Ultimate. Uh, <laughs> Ultimate Writer was actually taken, unfortunately. And also, we've uh, just launched we our them to YouTube a channel. We've got a YouTube channel that we're going to be uploading all of our podcasts up to in it as well. Let's call these guys out. Yeah, let's call them out. Let's yeah. get them here now. Who cares, you know? You and your mate. Hopefully he's overweight and uh, then we've got a chance. We can yeah, do this. If he's an actual sports fighter, we could be fucked. Yeah, we could and be on your own. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> and you can catch me at the real Dan McLeod of the. Yeah, that's real. right. You yeah. like that? Yeah. He real. real. Dan. Oh, he oh, real. Sorry. Real Dan McLeod on Twitter. <laughs> you can follow Instagram me as well. Want to be real Dan McLeod? Uh, Instagram, DTM <laughs> one two one six. It's all there. And that's actually down everything. to mate. Down to Not, mate. Yeah, I down to mate. Hey, hey, hey. hey. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. It's Paul and Ball. Thanks a lot, boys. We're going to catch you all next week because you know what's coming out right now. UFC Fight Night live from Bloomfield, Denver, Colorado. It is Henderson versus Thatch. We'll catch you guys next week. Tune in if you're not here. Watch it at the Tap Room, 74 Wyndham Street. Then watch it right now on Sky. It's all on. <laughs> UFC. We like it. We love it. It's all on. Boys, next yes. week. Yeah, can I just quickly say something? We have searched your name on Twitter, and uh, there's a Daniel Daniel McLeod TV, Dane McLeod, Danny McLeod, but there is no the real Dan man. Is that right? Oh. We let's go fight Twitter. If you go to Twitter, because you guys are fucking being assholes now. <laughs> no, <laughs> if we go twitter.com. Uh, yeah, we are, are, are you on Twitter? We are on Twitter right now. And you search real Dan McLeod. He wrote the there real I am. the real Dan McLeod. There I am. Oh, I'm gonna follow no, you. No, right real now. Dan McLeod. Oh, take oh, that real out. Dan. There we go. There you go, you fuckers. See you all next week, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right, fucking <laughs> Wonder Woman is the first thing I see. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of you. You're all assholes. Too much thing, everybody. <laughs> we we don't need any of you. I'm turning you all down. That's it. You're down. You're down. You're all down. Fuck you guys. We'll see you all next week here on on Sport and Brawl, Sport Lockdown, Sports Fan Network. <sighs>
fuck my life. That's all I got to say. That's it. Cheers, guys.